Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, myself Rakesh. If I ask you, is there a way to read emails from a email folder? For example, in my Gmail, I have created a folder here. So from this folder, is it possible to read the emails? We understood how to read from the inbox in the previous uh, couple of videos. In this video, we are going to learn how can I read it from a folder? Is there a way to do it? Okay, so great. So let's get started. Before you get started, anyone who is watching this video for the very first time, please remember this walking, this entire workflow is based on the Gmail API. And if you have not already set up your API, this activities won't work. So if you are very new, please go to my channel, follow this videos, API UiPath, uh, set up and the API Gmail send email message. Once you do go through these two videos, you will get to know how to work on rest of the activities. Okay, so rest of uh, people who have already watched that video, let's see how this can be really achieved. Okay, so what is the first? Uh, let me delete all the entire workflow and we will start from the scratch. Now the very first activity for any uh, API specific activities you would like to do on Gmail, the G Suite application scope has to be used and how to set up everything is there in those two videos. Now once you know how if you have already set up the properties, you have already set up the client ID and secret key, then let's go for the second step. What is the second step? I need to read the email, right? Now to read the email, there is an activity called get mail message. Okay, get mail message activity. All right. Now here in the get mail activity, I do not have any condition. So I'm going to remove everything that is there in the search message. I don't have a filter criteria. Whatever emails are there inside my folder, it should read. Okay. Now once you have this, then you need to create a variable for the output of the. So once it reads, it should know how many emails are there. So it should be carried over to a variable, right? And what contains what, what that email contains. Now the next thing I have to do is I have to use a for each activity. Okay. Now here before we get onto for each, there is something here called filter against these labels. What is this? Filter against these labels. So this is what the option you should learn. So here you click click here. It will show you create argument. Okay, create argument. And here you need to write the folder name what is the folder name uipath test folder exactly you need to write within because the string i'll pass it uipath test folder okay so i'm passing the argument so this becomes a filter criteria hey i should not look by default it goes and reads the inbox here this time it is going to go and read in the folder which i have mentioned likewise you can do it for all any other folders that you would like to read from you can do that Okay, once you have it, all you have to do is simply emails. Now many, if, if you are, um, I mean, I think everybody would know that, but again, in anyone who uh, is very new, here is the option to click on create new label and you can label means folder in Google, okay? So here you give it a name and click on create. Likewise, I have a folder, you can have a similar folder, okay, test folder and drag and drop some emails into that folder from your inbox. You can drag and drop like this into that. Okay, so I have done it. Now here I should read the emails. So I have passed the variable emails. Now uh, let me read um, through a message box, let's say, or maybe a log message, whatever you like. Okay. So let's do a log message, log message. And then I'm going to leave it blank. And here uh, I would like to see the item dot, um, uh, body right I would like to see the item dot body all right so this is done once this is all set up let's quickly let's debug it so this time instead of reading from my inbox it's supposed to read it from the folder there so there are three emails so the output should write three body okay one is you have a studio you have a studio the other one is simply saying UI path so these are the three items should appear here in my output panel Okay, very good. See, I should be writing. Do you see the test email from Yapa Studio? Got it. So, here if you look at the log message, 
output okay so so let, let's directly run it okay so that we can see it we will not debug it so this is how you can uh, if you if i ask you how do you read it from the sent mail what are the emails there in the sent what are there in the drafts how to do that check that out so once you know this you should be able to do that even okay so here um, you can see the output panel is saying this is a test email from Yapa Studio and uh, these are the two emails, three. So total three emails. So this is how you'll be reading from a specific folder. I hope this video must be helping you. So please do subscribe to my channel guys. Um, you know your subscription is highly required. You have to subscribe to the channel to uh, support me. So please do subscribe um, and we are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then take care. Bye bye.